you. Never give up. Community development is never easy. You don't do something today, you see the results tomorrow. It takes a while. Sometimes it might take years. But what is important is that we all need to come together and continue to walk this walk of de development. When there's a challenge, talk about it. Don't give in like the boxers, eh? When they can't take the punches anymore, what do they do? Throw in the towel. We don't throw in the towel. We are focused on our vision and we will continue to work with everyone that we come into contact with, that we will all work toward making a difference. If it is making a difference first in our lives and then we impact on somebody else, that is the start. Eh? Uh, live and learn uh, in collaboration with the Ministry of Agriculture, uh, a section on uh, LR, from LRPD, from farm, farm management. We are conducting uh, a training today for our informal settlements. The five informal settlements that uh, uh, team uh, Live and Learn under the At All Food Futures uh, project is targeting uh, for this three-year period. And uh, the settlements are Matin Borsisi, Bilo, Kilikali, uh, Waker Kerry and Cobot. And at the moment, uh, we have uh, 15 uh, participants from each settlement and uh, a total of uh, 80 participants that we have here at Navoso Agriculture Institution. And uh, the program today in the morning, uh, we took them to live in an office for them to see there's a demo plot that we have. Uh, uh, we have made at uh, Living Learn Office. We want to show them that not only we are teaching them, we are also trying to showcase what uh, we had already taught them on the ground. So that is how, and they also have to, ex uh, this morning they exchange ideas and uh, they put in whatever the effort or what the recommendation that they think that can help us to improve on our uh, training and on our implementation into the communities. Now we are at Nabuso Agriculture Institution and uh, for the training uh, here at, at Nabuso, uh, it is mainly focusing on market linkages and uh, plant uh, doctors. Uh, we have seen in these two past two years that we have been into informal settlements, some of the questions that they've been raising is that if we have access, where from now? So that is, how, that is why we are bringing them here. And uh, we have uh, also discussed with the Minister of Agriculture on targeted approach. And uh, that is why we are bringing them out here. We target the people that are really interested in this uh, development that we are, in this training that we are doing today, for them to come out of their communities, from their comfort zone to see that there is also a linkages from what they are growing in the communities to the markets that are outside uh, their communities. So for this morning, uh, we are teaching them on market linkages in, uh, on how they plan and do planning and uh, what is their aim when they plant. Uh, we are trying to emphasize to them that planting is not something that is just a part-time, it is something that you need to plan for. If you don't plan for planting, then it's no use for them to go and plant. So that is why we have our market uh, linkages today uh, from the farm management uh, units with the uh, uh, Ministry of Agriculture for them to be enhanced, for them to, to guide them on how to plan and uh, how are they going to work out that plan in order to achieve their aim. And uh, after that, then uh, we have, uh, after lunch, we will be having a session on plant doctors where our communities are, be, are going to be brief on uh, identifying uh, insects and how they can uh, uh, and how they can implement what they've learned today in order to r reduce the risks of those insects in their in their community or in their farms. As you know that uh, you know we uh, sometimes run out of resources, human resources. Uh, extension officers, agriculture officers, they can reach to all the communities at all the time. So that is why we are bringing them here to teach them so that they can be plant doctors by themselves. Just the basics. 
and uh, after this then we are going for field trips where we will take them to agro marketing we want to show them that if we have access for people that have uh, uh, planting high value crops AMA is here to buy and also to uh, after AMA we are going to the Sujo's uh, nursery where they are going to see how they link themselves up because most of them we have taken them through good agriculture practice how to do, sow seeds and I think with uh, a nursery the available from uh, and the technical advice given by Sujo's nursery it will help them and we'll end up the day uh, with a visitation to their agriculture office at uh, Lakena. And we know that uh, these communities are from Lami to Nosori Corridor. Their office is here at Lakena. So we want them to come and see this is their office and also to uh, ask the officers from uh, the extension officers for them to collaborate and to find out how they are going to help us in terms of support what are the projects that are available that they can apply, what are the, the clarifications that they need from the extension of this. So we are here to facilitate it and under the Atoll Food Future, which is funded by the Australian government, DFED, uh, that is why we are conducting this training today uh, under the Live and Learn and the Ministry of Agriculture.